today in this particular session we will be introducing what are the chart patterns and with reference to the various market phases that we have learned when we covered the six doctrines of Charles M. Dow which is basically the foundation of technical analysis a proven technique to analyze the financial markets. So today we will be learning various kind of chart patterns. Let's first understand what are chart patterns. As the name suggests there is some kind of formation uh, which looks like a defined pattern appear on the price chart and those are known as price patterns. But how they appear? They appear because we all know there is a constant war going on between buyers and sellers who are the market participants and hence all these price actions results in certain kind of formations on the price chart and they are well can be recognized because of the of, uh, because of the formation on the price chart and previous experiences over the year have indicated that such formations they are indication that the transition period is there from an uptrend to the downtrend or from a downtrend to the uptrend. So friend they are formed between the uptrend and a downtrend which is a transition period when the market changes its trend. So very very significant if such patterns can be identified it gives a very definite kind of clue that trend is reversing or the trend will continue. So such patterns are considered very very definite signal and if you recall one of the doctrines of Charles M. Dow that what we have covered clearly indicated or rather emphasized that the market remains in a particular trend. The trends remains intact unless and until it has given a definite signal for its reversal. These particular chart patterns can easily be recognized. So friends it is very very important to understand location of various kind of price patterns or chart pattern we call it with respect to market phases. So market gives different kind of opportunities in different market phases and friends once we are able to identify the price pattern or a chart pattern in a particular market phase that will actually enable you to decide take a call whether it is a positional trading uh, opportunity or which kind of uh, trading opportunity is that. If you are an investor you know when the market post downtrending move is in accumulation phase and now if you appear if, if you see a chart pattern which indicates the price so far was in downtrending move now it has given a definite signal in shape of a particular chart pattern indicating that now market has declared its arrival into markup phase where you can take a long term investing decision where risk is very very less where the potential reward is very very high. So this is the accumulation phase of the market here you will find certain kind of reversal chart pattern as a definite signal for reversal in the trend from down to uptrend and here it gives an opportunity for long term positional trade or long term investing opportunity where risk, risk is very very limited and the potential of uh, profit or potential of reward is significantly higher in many many more times. So you get a very favorable risk reward ratio in this particular stage of the market which is an accumulation phase and once there is a bullish reversal kind of pattern in this particular phase the market reaches to markup phase or sometimes referred to as, as a public participation phase where there will be several kind of continuation price pattern or chart pattern appearing during this phase which may run for years together 10 years 15 years or maybe even more in uh, some of these stocks. 
so this is the phase where you get a multiple opportunity if you are a swing trader multiple opportunity for breakout trading so there will be different kind of chart patterns which are normally called a, a continuation chart pattern will appear in this market uh, phase and then comes friends a distribution phase this is the phase of the market where smart money is getting withdrawn from the market people are booking profit for who are sitting for a long term those who have entered at this place are booking profit at this place so they are withdraw withdrawing their money so smart money is going off the market would be indicated by a kind of formation on the chart where the market will stop making higher highs kind of formation which indicates probably the uptrend is likely to end very soon and you will have a kind of chart pattern in this particular phase which will be bearish reversal pattern and hence this is the time where one should exit the market book the profit especially those are positional traders and those who are investors and then the downtrend will make begin and this is called a redistribution phase or a markdown phase where market will make lower highs and lower lows kind of formation and several bearish continuation pattern will appear giving a lot of opportunity for short selling opportunity so friends since we are talking about the price patterns or chart patterns it's very very important to understand that what is the one single tool which is commonly used and frequently used in technical analysis process and which helps to identify these chart patterns and it's related breakdown or breakout so that single tool which is very very important you to understand is the tool is called trend lines or combination of trend lines so the, that single tool is trend lines as the name suggests a line drawn on the price chart which indicates the trend when you draw the trend line you should keep those rules in your mind so that the trend line drawn is correct the moment you draw the trend line which is not correct which is not valid so all the interpretation would be done only when we draw uh, would be done correctly when you draw the trend line correctly in order to draw the trend line correctly you have to broadly follow two rules whether you are drawing a falling trend line or drawing a rising trend line or drawing a horizontal line indicating the support and resistances doesn't matter the rules are very very commonly applied when you draw the trend line on a price chart so friend let's understand basically how to draw the trend lines and i'll share with you simple rules when we draw the trend line because market structure is what either market will make higher highs and higher lows kind of formation she will get several lows and several highs formation in the market so when you join the descending highs also called the peaks which is lower than other peaks so several peaks formation would be there so when you when you draw the descending highs what you are drawing you are drawing a resistance line where whenever the price touches to that particular uh, uh, line the price gets rejected because the sellers are ready to sell when the market is making higher highs and higher lows kind of formation these uh, these things have been discussed in the market structure in the market trends under the tutorial zero to hero so friends i am not covering that all details you have to go back to all tutorial series what we have covered under zero to hero go each video multiple times so that you develop the concept behind technical analysis and then step by step you emerge as a good technical analyst and good trader so friends when you join the ascending lows means market is making higher 
highs and higher lows kind of formation which market is in uptrending mode so there will be several lows which will be higher than the previous lows if you join all these lows you will have a rising trend line which is acting as a support line whenever we draw the trend line on price chart there should be minimum three touch points to be called a trend line to be valid trend line or established trend line many a people they just simply join two touch points and say it's a trend line it may be an observational trend line but unless and until it is confirmed by the third touch point it is not an established or a valid trend line no closing point should be above or below the trend line so drawn so friends whenever you draw the trend line on the price chart you have to ask yourself whether i have followed two rules or not the rule number 1 is that there should not be uh, uh, less than three touch points so uh, touch points on the trend line should be three or more and another rule is that there should not be any closing points below the trend line if you are drawing as a trend line rising trend line or if you are drawing a trend line rising means a, it's a support line it is indicating the multiple supports in the market and friend if you are drawing a resistance line which is a falling trend line which means there should not be any closing point above that trend line so let us take example number 1 to indicate how majority of the people draw trend line incorrectly the moment you understand incorrect way of drawing the trend line then you can correct yourself so this is the price chart where you can say this trend line has been drawn by joining these two points where rule there is no closing point below this trend line it's fine here it has been joined by this there is no closing point however there is a lower shadow which is below this trend line that's okay but does it have a three touch points no friends it has only one and two touch points so it is a invalid trend line the price chart and this is the trend line which has been drawn so we can see touch point number 1 touch point number 2 touch point number 3 so this is a rising trend line its inclination is up so it is indicated as a support line so this is a valid trend line because no closing point is below this trend line at the same time it has a three touch points it has a touch point here it has a touch point here it is a touch point here it has a touch point here and touch point here so there are multiple touch points certainly more than uh, three or more than three so this is also a valid trend line so you have to keep in your mind these two simple rules there should be minimum three or more touch points and number two there should not be any closing points below this trend line if you are drawing a rising trend line as a support line so this is a valid trend line or we can call it as an established trend line price chart we can see this is the trend line uh, price has got rejected here so it's it's again a, a descending low so this is uh, the, uh, this low is lower than this low this rule is okay now friend what is there is any closing point above this trend line so there is no closing point above this trend and there is no closing point above this trend but does it have a three touch points or more no friend it has only two touch points and hence it is a invalid trend line so friend this is the price chart where this particular trend line has been drawn we can see touch point number 1 touch point number 2 touch point number 3 touch point number 4 so it has three or more touch points to be called a valid trend line is there any uh, closing price which is above this resistance line or a falling trend line no there is no point of course there is a shadow that could be when the bullish uh, bearish candlestick pattern forms so uh, even the opening price could be above this particular resistance line 
but there should not be any closing point which is above this particular falling trend line which is acting as a resistance line hence friends this is a valid trend line or we may call it as a established trend line because whenever the price touches to this trend line the selling pressure increases and the market tends to make a new low in this particular session the two main key aways uh, key take aways in this particular session one is you should be in a position to identify the market phases so that you can position uh, rightfully in your uh, decision in the market in the right direction and friends second is the since we were talking about an introductory uh, session on price patterns or we call it as a chart patterns that the tool that is frequently used to identify the chart patterns and its breakout is trend lines so friends if you like this particular session please give a thumbs up give likes it motivates me share this tutorial among your friend circle social base and among the traders or beginners who wants to learn the technical analysis so that benefits can reach to the larger audiences across the country and in the process those people can also subscribe the channel to become part of your and my family uh, where we learn and cross learn so friends if you are watching this video and not yet subscribe the channel do subscribe and after you have subscribed the channel enable the notification bell so that you receive notification well on time and do not miss out any video on this channel thank you very much for watching thanks a lot we'll meet again soon